What do you do when you keep being asked to do things for free or worse for exposure? Anybody who's self-employed at some point has dealt with somebody asking them to do something that's quite hard simply because they'll gain exposure. For me, I've dealt with this for years and the most important thing to realize is that that person that wants you to do the free work, they're not a bad person. You can't lash out at them or get mad, but really the key for you is to figure out if all these people keep asking me for free work, if I'm not getting enough of the right people contacting me, what do I do? So there's three things that you need to do if again and again you're being asked to do work for free because why is this important? Well, if you keep doing work for free, you're not going to be able to pay your bills. You can't do work for free, you have to earn money. So what do you do? There's three things you should do. The first thing is to think about why they might be asking you to do this work for exposure. Do you not seem like somebody who gets paid a lot of money to do that work? For example, let's say you are a professional speaker. How about your speaking reel? That's the best marketing for you. What does it look like? Are you speaking at events that are clearly big venue events with good camera quality and large audiences? Because somebody who's speaking at those type of events, they're getting paid. So if your sample of your work doesn't reflect well, that might be why you're getting asked to do things for free. So the first thing you do, it's that audit. It's thinking about your brand from the perception of the buyer. So are you featuring testimonials from people like decision makers, senior people saying, okay, this person did this work for me and they did a great job. That stuff matters. So the first thing you do if you continue to get asked to do work for free is to do a little audit of your brand to figure out why is this happening? It could not just be marketing, it could also be the relevancy of your products and services. Maybe what you're selling is no longer relevant. Or maybe if you're a professional speaker, maybe what you're talking about is no longer a hot topic and you need to go back to the drawing board. So that first step, the audit, is absolutely critical. The second step is to think about your online footprint. So that's related to the audit. So the first step, you're looking at what, where am I now? What does everything look like? The second step is, okay, here's how I'm going to improve it. I'm going to hire somebody to do a really professional speaking reel of me, or I'm going to hire a brand consultant, or I'm going to alter and shake up my marketing because clearly the perception of my brand, I am not generating, generating enough revenue. And the third step, after you do the audit, after you figure out how you're going to do a makeover of your online brand is to start connecting with the actual buyers and decision makers and maybe even getting feedback from them about your brand and your products and services. Because if you don't talk straight to that prospect and figure out what the perception is, you might not never know because your prospective customers are ghosting you and you're only getting this inbound free requests. So I get these requests all the time to do things for exposure, to do things for free. It is not sustainable for me to do all of these things. Sometimes I do a few of these things because it's good for me or let's say I have a certain amount of time in my week that I volunteer, like I'll take a call with somebody who is in college and wants to be doing what I'm doing, but only a small amount is free work. Most of it is paid work. So again, the three steps I recommend for you today is that online audit, figuring out how to do the makeover of your marketing, and third, connecting with decision makers and talking with them openly about perhaps what they're looking for or maybe even their perception of your products and services. So I hope that you get more paid work in the future. We all get asked to do free work. Don't lash out, but take the time to reflect on your products and services and how you can make them look a little bit more money, as we say. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning into this episode. And if you're interested in learning about the tools we use to build seven-figure businesses, head over to byobtools.com. You'll get a PDF that shows you the breakdown of all the tools that we need to keep our businesses growing.
And of course, we would love it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just hit that subscribe button and you will get access to more videos just like this one, including interviews with some of the world's top entrepreneurs.